Hello and welcome to my SQL Server channel. If you use raw version for pulling your data or detecting changes, listen very carefully to this video. Row version, aka timestamp, has a trap. And how that trap happens, I will explain you and show you in a demo. So, if you detect changes with row version to pull your data into a data warehouse or to detect changes in optimistic locking, you can fall into a trap, especially if you use DBTC. DBTC is a bad thing to use if you pull data, and I will explain you why. So, uh, the best thing is on, to explain is on example. If you have a time, this is a timeline, and we have insert command. We have insert command that inserts multiple rows in same command. We can insert many rows in, in one insert statement. And it inserts eight rows. And then insert finishes and commits. Insert finishes and commits. Insert eight rows and commits. And we have other session which uh, pulls the data using dbtc. Let's say in this moment. And in this moment, dbtc is five because every row inserted, even uncommitted, dbtc will increase. And uh, dbtc will be five. You will say, I'm, I will read all rows until dbtc5 and you read the rows and guess which rows you see none because this transaction has not yet committed until transaction is committed other session won't see those rows if you are in default uh, isolation mode um, in in uncommitted in in read uncommitted dirty reads you will see those rows but normally you are not in in read uncommitted mode so you won't see these rows and um then another loop, pulling loop, will happen. And you will say, I am now on, let's say, dbtc9. And I will read everything after dbtc5, that th those three rows. You will see only this transaction committed, and you will see only three rows. In fact, you will pull only three rows out of eight. So that can happen, that you have, let's say, you insert 1,000 rows in one session, in other session, you pull them, and while you're pulling them, you won't see 1,000 rows, you see 990 rows, for example. That can happen sometimes. So, let's see. Uh, I will show you in a demo how that works. Stay tuned. Here is the demo. We will create a simple table. This table has only identifier primary key, clustered, uh, row version type column to detect changes, and uh, some data, 100 bytes character. And uh, let's create it, simple table. Now we have a session that pulls rows, wrong way, but it looks normally. So you see, this is the infinite loop. We read current value of dbtc and then pull the changes between uh, last pull point and less than or equal to dbtc we read before this pull and this pull um, for for demo it is just counting the rows but normally you would be you would insert those rows to some other system a data warehouse or some other database you would pull them somewhere, but for the demo, we just count them. And then uh, after pulling, we just set this new pull, pull point to be old pull point. And then we print the message how many rows that we pulled in this iteration. And then a small delay and the loop starts again. Reads next dbtc, pulls the changes, etc. until forever, until we stop it. So now I will run it. Let's see the messages. Nothing, because table is empty, no rows. In the other session, 
I will insert the rows. I will insert 1000 rows, top 1000, one, uh, 1000 times. So each insert inserts 1000 rows and executes 1000 times. That is million rows. So let's start that. Inserting million rows and pulling. So let's see how many rows are pulled the wrong way. Uh, I think insert finished. So we will stop pulling. And let's see how many rows in total. 88%, a little more than 88% was pulled. Why? If you look at the beginning, we pulled thousands. Uh, 2000 rows, 1000 rows, but here we pull very strange number of rows. So we skipped some rows here. And that's why we sometimes we skip some rows. Sometimes it's something that happens not all the time, but sometimes. That's why it is hard to detect. They call it a racing condition. So that's that's hard to detect. That's why I'm showing you in this demo. Um, so let's see how to pull it right way. The right way to pull the rows is the same way, but just replace dbtc with min active row version. And there is one more change. This is greater or equal, and this is less than without equal. So this is also a small change, but the main change is this. Don't use dbtc, use min active row version. And let's see how it, how it works. Let us uh, first truncate the, the table to become empty. Let's start our loop, our new loop, that should be good. Okay, messages are none. And let's insert million rows. And let's see the messages. All numbers are round. Looks good for now. And let's see. Insert finished and pull finished. 1 million rows. 100%. No row skipped. Great. Now, uh, to conclude, if you want to properly pull your data, if you use row version, then don't use dbtc but use this function, min active row version. That is safe to use and will always pull all the rows. Thank you very much. Bye.